With May being Stroke Awareness Month all month long, we're telling you the stories of local stroke survivors, like Liz Anderson, a Topeka woman who had a stroke at 50. Her life changed drastically, and so did her husband's. A strong legs. One, two, three. If there was ever an award for the world's greatest husband, there's no doubt Steve Anderson would be a top contender. She cannot walk on her own. She can't use a walker. So I'll walk backwards with her in the house, wherever we're, we need to go. Eight years ago, his wife Liz had a stroke that left her unable to do anything on her own. Her speech and cognitive skills have diminished. Steve helps her drink and eat, get dressed, bathe, and he's even learned how to do her makeup. I wouldn't change anything. Um, I'm just glad I'm, that she's still around. You know, I'll take her any way I can get her. Prior to her stroke, Liz was a happy, vibrant 50-year-old with no real health problems other than atrial fibrillation a condition that puts a person at high risk for having a stroke. And ultimately, that's what doctors determined caused her stroke. They told me she's not going to survive. She had a brain bleed. And so we went home. We talked about where we we're going to bury her and just kind of planned everything out. While planning her funeral, he got a call telling him to get back to the hospital because she was starting to wake up. She was in and out of consciousness for weeks. And when she was awake, it was for like 10 seconds. So that's what we live for, those 10 seconds. This picture gives you a snapshot of what those 10 seconds looked like. Time is so precious, and you don't want to waste it. So It's <clears throat> tough for Steve to talk about because he wishes he had called for help immediately. Liz started experiencing the signs of her stroke in the middle of the night, but nearly eight hours passed before 911 was called. Because she just didn't want to go. That's my regret right there, that I didn't get her sooner. He will never know for sure, but it's been proven time and time again that the sooner stroke victims get medical help, the more likely they are to recover, and in some cases, without any disabilities. It is what it is, and I'll just, I'll just deal with whatever comes across. She's my girl. Right, Liz? All right. And that's all the recognition he needs. And I met Liz and Steve last year at Stroke Camp, a camp specifically for stroke survivors and their caregivers. I was there with my father, who was a stroke survivor. And I can tell you it was the most rewarding experience. And to help keep those camps going, I've started a fundraiser on my Facebook page. If you get on Facebook and type in Brooke Lennington KSNT, you can find a post at the top of my page to donate to that stroke camp. And uh, Jason, another thing I have to say to you at that stroke camp, to watch Steve with Liz, it is... Um, it's the marriage that, you know, I think everyone wants. And I think for you know, any young ladies out there, it's, it's the husband that you would dream of marrying someday. Yeah, and as you said, not ideal circumstances, but they made a commitment to one another when oh. they got married, and he's certainly living out that commitment. Absolutely.